Hey Aries, welcome to Awaken Blue Heart Tarot. For those that are new, my name is Danielle. And for those that are returning, hey guys, I hope everybody's been doing great. This is going to be your reading for the second half of May. Please keep in mind, this is a general reading, so it may not apply to everyone's situation. If you feel like this video is not resonating for you, please take a look at my other videos to check out your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs. <clears throat> okay guys, so... Um, thank you guys for just having patience with me with everything. Like I'm finally finished with school. I graduated on Saturday, so it's over. I'm done. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Um, also bear with me guys while doing this video because uh, my voice is starting to like act a little shaky and messed up a little bit in the Virgo video, but I'm trying to knock out all the rest of the signs. So just bear with me. Um, but yeah, like I'm excited to see what's going on with you guys. <clears throat> for the second half of May and you know before we hop in I just have to show my appreciation because I love you guys so just thank you so much just for the love and support I really do appreciate it okay Aries let's see what's going on with you guys for the second half of May all right spirit if you can please give me three cards for Aries what messages do you have I have deception someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship free yourself Oof. all right it's time to take back control of your life one more for aries please separation uh, aries what is happening <sighs> time apart from your partners on the horizon okay i mean that's straight to the point um Aries, you guys have been dealing with someone, either you're still dealing with this person or you are currently separated from this person, but Spirit is asking you to basically, you need to just drop this person, whoever you're thinking about, yes, that's who it is. Um, because this person is deceiving you somehow. <clears throat> I mean, it can go a lot of different ways, but there is definitely some deception going on. Um, which is why if you guys are not separated and you're still dealing with this person, spirit is saying, let them go. Um, because there will be a separation for some of you guys, you're already separated from this person and you had to free yourself because you realized that something just wasn't right. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, let's just hop in. Oh, Aries. Y'all, the first sign is just like, woof. let's see what's, what's going on. This also could be for some of you guys that you're currently not dealing with someone. This could be just talking about an ex. This could be their energy where they're trying to free themselves from a situation. And this is why you guys are separated right now. Um, this person has basically hasn't been telling you the truth. So, yeah, it can go that way too. So, let's just kind of see how this plays out in the spread. All right, sir. <clears throat> General reading for Aries, second half of May. What messages do you have for Aries? General reading, second half of May, Aries. All right, let's see what's going on. Okay, guys, here we go. Bottom of the deck, I have the Wheel of Fortune. So, <clears throat> this is telling me that somebody basically has moved on. Tell me more. Yeah, see, there was a breakup. Aries, this could be you. You broke up with this person or maybe this person learned a lesson they broke up with whoever they were trying to free themselves from. But let's see. Tell me more. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Yeah, somebody ended things. I'm picking up. This could be the other person's energy. So Aries, if you weren't the one that messed up and it was like an ex, somebody from your past, this is what they're going through. Cross watchers, if Aries did it to you, this is what's happening. So just take it how it fits. But somebody basically had to end a situation because I feel like there's three people here. Um, there are two people that's meant for each other and somebody was like lurking in the shadows because they did not want this person to be with you or vice versa however it fits your situation and it could be something pertaining to money let's see let's just see what's happening <clears throat> see there's two tens so it's just good so whatever cycle that was taking place here is coming to an end and there's something new that will begin 
Um, I definitely feel like somebody got stabbed in the back here. And they just been healing. So, Aries, if this person did something wrong, you know, they messed up on their end. Y'all bear with me because I'm, like, really eating this cough drop. You know, I'm trying my best, you know, not to cough. But anyway, <clears throat> so, this would be that this person that messed up, it's like they want your forgiveness. But you guys had to end things because you, you got tired of this person, like, repeatedly stabbing you in the back. It's like you're there for this person. So, I definitely feel like there was some communication that came in. And you could have told this person you don't want a victory with them. Or they could have said it to you. So, let's just see. Back and forth with the Empress. Mm, let me clarify. Tell me about the Empress. There's the Hierophant in reverse. Okay. Somebody is definitely dealing with a Taurus here. Um... This could be saying that someone wants a new beginning here, but they feel like they're not going to be able to have this new beginning with you because you don't want a commitment with them. Maybe somebody had to get out of a commitment, whether it's a relationship or marriage, in order to have this new beginning. Yeah, see, because somebody's trying to clear away obstacles in order to make this work. <sighs> they're taking it day by day, though. So this is somebody trying to get out of a situation because they want a new beginning with you. But see, you feel like there's no security with this person and this person is scared that if they come back towards you, Aries, to give you this offer, you're not going to take it. And they're upset about it. They're sad because they know that they messed up, but they feel stuck in a situation and they definitely are making plans because they want a new opportunity with you. They want to see you, but right now they may not be making a move because they have to handle this. Somebody could be dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. But I just feel like at the end of the day, somebody made a decision here. Yeah, whoever messed up, they're giving, they're giving an offer and they're no longer frustrated about it. Tell me more. Yeah, see, at one point this person was moving slow and now they're getting ready to make a move. See, I'm telling you, this person made a decision. Tell me more. There's the Queen of Pentacles. Somebody could be dealing with an Earth sign. Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Tell me about this Queen of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles. Hold on. Let me make sure. I'm going to make sure this is you guys. Hold on. Yeah, it is you. This person, whoever messed up, they look at you. Aries, like you're very stable. You have your stuff together. You're very nurturing. You're caring. You take care of house and home. You tend to their needs the whole night. Like you're the complete package. And they want things to improve between the two of you. But at the same time, even though they want to tell you this, they're not. They're holding back because they know that they messed up. See? They have to apologize. There's an apology coming. They're just not confident that you're going to accept them back. So they did make a decision. Tell me more. They don't want to argue with you. They definitely don't want to argue with you. I feel like they're not even battling themselves at this point because I feel like they were just really like going back and forth in their head. Like, should I, should I not? Okay, well, will he or will she take me back? You know, it's just a lot of conflict. But at the end of the day, you make them happy. Clarify the sun. You make them happy. And the thing is, they're keeping a close eye on you because they don't want you to move on. Tell me more. But someone's not using their intuition here. So, let me see. Because I feel, I'm, I'm kind of hearing that somebody is trying to hold on. But at this point, this relationship is just, it's not healthy. And I feel like for a lot of you guys, spirit is trying to separate y'all. Because some of you guys know that this may not, this is not your person. This was like a, um, a lesson that you had to go through. You had to learn something. And I feel like for a lot of you, you did. And that's why you freed yourself and you're moving on. But see, someone wants to come back. So let's just see how this plays out. Because, yeah, somebody's not using their intuition. Look at that. There's the tower. So the universe is definitely stepping in and cutting things off. I'm telling you. It's like, I'm t for some of you guys, this ain't your person. This is not who you're supposed to be with. Well, let me see. Tell me about the King of Swords. So somebody could be dealing with an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. See, now this person, okay, so for some of you guys, I feel like, okay, it's split because I'm, I'm hearing that some of you guys are dealing with somebody that you're not even supposed to be dealing with. Like, this was a lesson, learn your lesson, let them go. For others of you guys, this could be the person that you're supposed to 
that you, you could be dealing with or you're going to deal with like it is a soulmate situation but at the same time they were full of bs and they basically were just toxic i'm sorry like they they were toxic let's keep it real and so now you had to remove yourself out of a situation in order for them to gain clarity and that's what i'm seeing here because see now this person wants to come back and fix things with you but see you're walking away i'm telling you for a lot of y'all y'all ain't supposed to be with this person this is a no-no but this person they're not letting you go somebody's still trying to give an offer here look see of love somebody could be dealing with a gemini <clears throat> This is definitely a soulmate situation. I'm t this person is not letting you go. This person is definitely giving you an offer. For some of you guys, you need to be careful because I just heard somebody is trying to stay around due to financial reasons. So I don't know, Aries, if you're giving this other person money or cross watcher, you know, if you're giving Aries money, but this is why this person is holding on the spirit is saying you need to let them go because they're no good for you. Now, if that isn't your situation, yeah, this person is trying to balance things out. Like, I'm telling you, there's an offer here, but I don't trust it, y'all. I'm beyond, I don't trust it. I don't trust it. Yeah, somebody feel, see, another three try to pop out. You see what I'm saying? There's like, I'm, it's, it's a third party here. It's, it's somewhere in this mix, whether it's man, woman, family, friends, whoever, it's something ain't right. My spirit ain't sitting right. Okay, so somebody's just to the point where they don't want to build with this individual, or maybe this individual is scared you don't want to build with them. But I'm, this person's not giving up. Look at that. They want a new beginning with you. <clears throat> Look, see what I'm saying? Y'all, I don't trust it. <laughs> I don't trust it. I do not trust it. Somebody could be dealing with a Capricorn, but just looking at this, I'm shaking my head like, no, 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 no. No, somebody's scared that they're not going to be able to have a happy home. But I'm going to be honest with you. I, I don't trust this offer. Tell me more. No, 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 no. See, this person left you out in the cold. They're wanting to speak up. I actually want to clarify that. Um, They left you on the cold. They're hoping that you can forgive them. They are coming back to speak their truth. I'm telling you, they're not letting you go easily, Aries. Why is the three of cups here? Let me see. Why is the three of cups here? Okay, Aries. Let me see. Clarify the emperor reverse. Okay, so this person definitely wants to take you out. They want to take you out. They want to celebrate. They just, they want to have fun with you. But at the end of the day, Aries, you could be dealing with another Aries. Or this is just telling me that when you look at this person, you feel like there's no stability with them. And so... At the end of the day, they, they, they're going to come back because they want to turn things around with you. They want to work on this relationship. They're going to put in the work to win you back. Somebody's coming out of worrying about the situation, though. But something is something's just not right. Something is just moving really slow. See, this person that you're dealing with can be very immature. And they can uh, be very childish at times. And see, now it's like they want to try to come back to balance things out with you. But it's just, Spirit is saying, you need to use your intuition because it's something ain't right. Clarify the moon. <clears throat> Could be dealing with a Pisces, but something's not right. Yep, somebody's dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Tell me about this Queen of Cups reverse. Tell me about the Queen of Cups reverse. Somebody's not moving forward. See, somebody is, hasn't learned their lesson yet. They're still going through karma. Let me see. Tell me more. I want to make sure this isn't you guys. <sighs> yeah, I ain't feeling it. I'm not feeling this, guys. I'm not feeling it at all. All right. Your guard is up, Aries. So that's definitely you. Your guard is up. You're not opening up to this person. Because you're listening to your intuition. you It's like you know something isn't right. That's why you refuse to move forward with this person if they come back giving you this offer. Ain't no if. They're coming back to give you the offer if they haven't done so already. But you don't trust it. Somebody's coming out of being frustrated. But see, this person, I feel like this person is feeling guilty in their own little way about everything that they've done. But at the same time, 
Aries, you're like going within your thinking because you're like, you know what? When we were together, I did everything. So why am I about to sit here and put myself back in this situation to do everything again? Like I'm telling you, something ain't right with this offer. I'm not feeling it. I'm gonna keep saying it because it, it has it, my mind hasn't changed. I don't like it. See, look, this person doesn't know what to do, or maybe this is you. Somebody doesn't know what to do here. They're back and forth. It's like somebody could be dealing with a Leo. One minute they have the strength to handle the situation, deal with it, give an offer, but the next minute they don't. Somebody's dealing with an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. But yeah, somebody's having a hard time here. Somebody doesn't have hope that things are going to work out. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. Clarify the Three of Pentacles. Because I feel like this person wants things to improve with you. But they don't have a peace of mind. Somebody, I feel like somebody is stuck in a situation. Somebody doesn't have peace of mind with their finances either. And I feel like you guys are trying to find out the truth about what's going on. Because I'm telling you, something ain't right. Could be dealing with... So maybe some of you guys feel like there's a third party. Somebody could be dealing with a Libra. Clarify justice. Yeah. See, somebody wants... Okay. Somebody wants a family with you. They see marriage. They see something long-term. It's a Virgo. <sighs> Somebody's thinking. This was a lesson. I don't know if some of you guys are finding out this person is like they already have like a family, children. It's something. I ain't feeling it. I'm not feeling it. There's two nines, which is good. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This cycle that you guys have been going through is coming to an end. Because at this point, you guys feel like things are not improving here with this person. Yep, there's an ending. There's death in reverse. You could be dealing with a Scorpio, but there's definitely an ending here. See? Because this person broke your heart. I mean, you can't. I told you, I'm not feeling this. I don't even trust this person. I don't even know who y'all dealing with. I don't trust it. This person broke your heart. There, there is some type of third party here. See? And this, y'all know it. It's like you know it, but maybe some of you guys don't have proof. And this person, some of you guys are dealing with um, a master manipulator. Like, they know how to play mind games. Y'all could be dealing with a, a cancer. But y'all y'all aren't moving forward with this person. See? This person wants to balance things out with you, but y'all know that they're entertaining somebody else. <clears throat> and this is why y'all cut them off. Somebody could be dealing with an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, but somebody is sad because I'm telling you, somebody is taking a financial loss. I'm telling you something ain't right here. Something is not right. Yeah, see? Either you're not taking a leap with this person or this person isn't taking a leap towards you. And see, now someone's stuck in their head. They don't know what to do. They feel like they lost you. And they're trying to make a decision now about what to do. See, I'm t don't know. I don't like this. No, this person is sneaky. See, they're a player. This person's playing you, Aries, or cross watcher. Aries is playing you. Could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. But this person, don't do not trust them. Look at that. Oh my gosh. There is the king and the queen of wands. Some of you guys are dealing with a soulmate. This could even be a twin flame situation. But regardless, y'all know how I feel about titles. I don't care what it is. I care about how this person is treating you. And this energy that I'm picking up here, it's a no-no for me. So anyway, these two people, they're not even on the same page. This person's still playing around. They're taking their time. This person, y'all, I'm not even going to go there. Y'all, at this point, Aries, I feel like you guys are just focusing on you. You're staying positive. You're moving forward. You're doing what you got to do for you. And I love it. Yeah, no, I don't trust this person. See, there's the magicians. You're staying positive here. You're moving forward. Because, see, every time you think about this other individual, you keep thinking about what they did to you in the past. They were sneaky. No, I don't trust it. That's why Spirit is saying you need to free yourself because this person, they're lying. And there's a separation. Either y'all separated now or if you're still dealing with this person, there, you guys are going to break free. And I would advise that because I don't like this energy. So we're going to see how this plays out. Um, Yeah, in June. We're going to see how this plays out because I ain't feeling it. Aries, please leave me some comments and let me know what's going on. Because, mm, yeah, just leave me some comments. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed your reading. That was a little deep. Um, if you need a personal reading, please email me. Um, just have patience because I am still working through my emails. But I got you guys, okay? Love you, Aries. Talk to you soon. Bye.